Kanye West, Prince, Michael Jackson, record executives, and many others, have been exposing the music industry. And now Snoop Dogg has done the same. I saw this video where he's talking about how much money these artists are making off of their music and I could not believe it. How many artists do you hear complaining about, we don't make money off our YouTube video, we don't make money off our streaming, the label won't let me go, I can't do this, I can't do that. Yeah. Snoop Dogg is not wrong there is a system that has been created. This system is made in a way that it exploits the artists. Well, so is the label the bad guy or what? They're not the bad guys, just a system that was created many years ago that they're not changing. Mm -hmm. About you, me, him, him, or the other. Michael Jackson wasn't even making dollars off of his album. How, so how is how does that work though? I mean, to, to me, that's not in the music business. That sounds so weird. How, how is Michael Jackson not making money off his own music? Yeah. Albums will sell millions of copies, but an artist will only get about a few millions from it. The record label it was, it's called points and percentages and royalties that you get for the record. So, for example, if they were selling Michael Jackson record Thriller for nine ninety nine, right? How much money do you really think he made off of each copy of Thriller? And this is the eighties. And sold the most records ever. He made a lot of money. What you think the record labels made? They made all the One of the most recent complainants of this as well was Meek Mill, who says he's only made $11 million from his music, and yet his music has made so much more than that. And I know a lot of people ask me the question, but why do they sign these contracts? And the truth is, most artists start off very, very small. They have no hope of making the sort of money on their own. The problem is that when they get very big, they get bigger than they thought they'd ever be. And at that point they would love to change the terms of their contracts but they're really bound to an old agreement. In the era of YouTube, TikTok, Facebook and other platforms, it's important for more people to try and go out there and do it on their own. Never get low balled with these contracts. What can our people learn from this? Honestly a lot, but I love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. Peace.